Me and Nathan only got to hang out probably a total of three or four times while I was in the halfway house. And then one day, he went through my phone and saw people that I was talking to, and he wasn't happy about it. And so we were just like arguing back and forth for hours. And I ended up getting sent back to prison because I wasn't back in time for my curfew. You know, Nathan's version of that story is different. Uh-uh. Nathan hasn't even, like, texted me in, like, a minute or called. That's strange. I'm sorry, the person you were... I was just going to leave him alone because he's working, but still, he normally, like... Yeah, I mean, he never... That never stopped him before. No. Even when he's at work, he literally has his phone in his pocket while I talk yeah. to him often. I mean, he did while I was in prison. Are you going to, like, try to, like find a job around here or like do you even know like... I don't know I really don't want to work anywhere around here but I mean if I have to I will yeah. but you already know Nathan doesn't want me to go back to the yeah. country club just because his thing is like all oh, these guys with money I'm like like I even care about that yeah hopefully he stops being so insecure and I've seen an improvement already because I was worried he hasn't like asked to see my phone one time since I've been out. Yeah, I haven't had time to talk to anybody but, yet. <laughs> yeah, it's like been two days, so. You guys just have to like build some trust in each other. Yeah, that's just what. For this to like work. I know I'm doing the right thing, and as long as he's doing the right thing, there's no reason to like argue. I don't want to live like that. I definitely think like two recovering addicts could be like really risky for both of their recoveries. All right, just a couple minutes under there and you'll okay. be good, okay? Thank you. Uh, maybe just like a little worried because just from what I know of them, it's a lot of fighting and a lot of things that I feel like could trigger her to want to use just because of all the stress. And I think she definitely just needs to focus on herself, just getting her life back on track and not so much worried about a relationship and a guy. I sent him a tag, but still it just worries me because he yeah. never does answer. I'm sure he's probably just in the middle of doing something. My concern is always when someone doesn't answer if, if they're OK. Maybe his phone's dead. He's going to make me nervous. I mean, the messages are going through, so it's not like he doesn't have service. Yeah. Situations like this just trigger me to, yeah. like, my past and what I've dealt with, losing people, losing two very close people to overdoses. Usually, Nathan answers me right away. So when he doesn't, it does like kind of take me back to um, the sense of panic, how I always used to feel like when my past relationships wouldn't answer. Are they passed out somewhere? Like, are they OK? Who are they with? And um, so I have been diagnosed with PTSD. I'm sorry, the person you I mean, I'm not really sure why he's not answering, but I know what he definitely shouldn't be doing, and that's doing drugs or anything shady behind my back.